Asalaamu As Alaikum. Inshallah, you're well. So guys, a lot of you will be preparing and getting ready for assessment centers at the big four or a top 10 accountancy firm. And I thought it'd be a good idea to inshallah release a series of videos covering different tips that I would recommend to help you inshallah secure that job offer. What I will say is if you find that your assessment center is before I've completed these series, please feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll inshallah do my best to help answer any questions and give you some tips in advance. So today inshallah I'm going to talk about setting up that area in your home or office for that assessment center because most if not all will be held virtually this year. So guys the first thing you should be thinking about is what am I going to wear? So if you were to attend an assessment center in person you would wear a suit normally or formal business wear. And for ladies, I'll be honest with you, I can't really advise on that. I'm not much of a fashion expert and ladies fashion is completely alien to me. So I'd recommend just going for formal business wear. And for men, the biggest question is going to be, should I wear a tie or not? And I would definitely recommend wearing a tie. And there's a few reasons for that. I know some people will say dress for the office culture. So for example, I work in retail. So in retail, we don't really wear ties. Um, but what I would say is it doesn't depend on the office culture. The office culture isn't deciding who they're going to choose. The person at the other end of the assessment center is. And that person may feel that wearing a tie is a requirement. It makes you look smart. So what I would say is play it safe, wear a tie. You don't want to be that one person who isn't wearing a tie at an assessment center because then you'll stand out for the wrong reasons. Again, you may say, well, what if I'm the only one wearing a tie and everyone else isn't? My point to that would be, well, at least you look smart. You may stand out for the right reasons. So my advice there is play it safe. If you're a guy, wear a tie. The next bit is getting the admin sorted. And what I mean by that is checking your internet connection. So make sure that your connection is working fine before the day. What you don't want to do is log off unexpectedly or disconnect from the assessment center because although the person on the other side or the organization will be very understanding because it happens often, I've been in meetings where people have unexpectedly had to leave the meeting because they've had internet issues or connection problems and it's absolutely fine. However, again, you don't want to be that guy because you may stand out for the wrong reasons. As part of checking your internet connection, make sure you also check the camera on your laptop and the mic are working fine as well. I've been in numerous instances where my mic's not working correctly for some reason. I've got to hold my laptop in a certain position and it doesn't really come across as professional. So what I would recommend is set up a either a Teams or a Zoom a call with someone else in your family maybe or a friend and just have a call with them, have a chat with them, say, is my mic working fine? How am I looking on screen? Okay, that's a good way of checking that your camera and mic are working absolutely fine. So check your internet connection and then I'd probably spend some time just chatting with family, letting them know how important this is. You don't want to be disturbed. Okay, you don't want the phone going off in the background. So one thing I'd recommend is switching your mobile on silent and maybe even disconnecting your landline. You know, if it was an emergency, they'll be able to reach your family on mobile. So to avoid that distraction, that may be an option. But definitely switch your own mobile off because you don't want it going off in the assessment center because that will definitely not look good. So the next point is around lighting. And what I would say is it's important to have good lighting in place. Imagine if I did these videos without lighting, right? And I came across as quite dark. You can't really make out what I look like. You'd probably skip over these videos and wouldn't care, right? So presentation is key make sure the lights are on. You don't have to go and buy special lighting or effects or anything like that. That's not the case. All you have to do is make sure your lights are switched on and you are clearly visible on screen. As well as lighting, make sure you have a nice neutral background because you don't want to have something in the background which may offend someone. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're offended or not because your opinion doesn't matter. If the assessor is, then their opinion does matter, I could tell you that for sure. So you don't want to have something in the background which may count against you. What I would say, however, is it may be worth thinking if there's something quirky in your house that may be a good conversation starter. Imagine you're at your partner interview stage or with a director, they sit down and they spot something behind you and they're like, oh, what's that? And then they, they want to know the story behind it, right? It's a good icebreaker, it's a good conversation starter. But again, be careful. Remember, taste depends on the other person. So even if you may not find something offensive, be careful, think. Is there any way someone could misinterpret this object or this background? So if you wanna play it safe, just stick with a nice neutral background. And the other thing is guys, you're probably gonna be sitting at a desk of some sort. And what you wanna make sure is that you're in a, a comfortable pose, right? That you can adopt for most of the day. So normally when I'm sitting at my desk, I rest my arms on my table. 
And when I'm in meetings, that's the normal pose that I adopt. And that's absolutely fine. My arms aren't really visible on the screen. But sometimes what happens is I'm asked to think about something and I start stroking my beard, right? That's my thinking pose. Don't do that. It doesn't look great, right? Imagine you're covering your face and you're, you're going like this. You're the only one doing that out of maybe eight or 10 people. It doesn't look great. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend it. For me, it's fine. I'm in meetings. The people know who I am. I've built my relationships. You haven't. This is your first impression. Make it count. The other thing is, again, maintaining positive body language. So keeping wide like this is welcoming, right? You're inviting people into a conversation. Whereas if you're sat like this or cross-armed or you're moving your hands frantically, that's not great. So be mindful. I'm not saying focus on it throughout the day, but be mindful of your... Uh, body language and how you're positioned on the day and the final bit which is probably the most important bit and advice which a lot of people give is be enthusiastic right and the easiest way to be enthusiastic is by smiling but be careful you don't want to be the guy who's smiling throughout the day right that may come across as a bit weird but smile at regular intervals show that you're paying attention so other positive things are like nodding your head shows that you're listening right again going back to body language that posture so wide open arms, inviting people into a conversation with you and definitely staring at the screen, right? At your camera, because you don't want to be like this, like talking and not facing the person because that's not showing respect, right? It's, it's hard because you're in a virtual environment. These things may skip your mind, but they're very, very important, right? Imagine you're in that assessment center. You've got great lighting. You're wearing a tie, neutral background, Maybe a quirky object, but that doesn't matter, right? You're positive, you're smiling. That's a great first impression. That's how you want to come across. Because trust me, if you're that guy that doesn't have great lighting, has internet problems, family disturbing them, that's not going to look good. You're always going to play catch up, right? So inshallah, guys, you've enjoyed this short video. A few tips in there to help you guys out. And one thing I will say is, as I release these videos, if any of the tips have helped you, Definitely do comment below. Let me know. Message me privately on Instagram if commenting publicly isn't your thing. I want to know if these tips are actually helping you guys. And as always, guys, if you know someone who's potentially attending an assessment center in the future, please feel free to share these videos as they may benefit them. As always, any questions or feedback, please feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram.